We're back with Ruth Marcus and Grover Norquist. Now let's call a ceasefire. Is there anything that you two can agree on? And I think I'm going to regret this. <laughs> <laughs> Who agrees first? You first. Okay. Um, I think that Grover and I agree that, well, the obvious, you, everybody agrees on this, that the help, rollout of the um, website has been botched, but even more that the administration's handling of these cancellations has been botched and that the president's um, non-apology apology has been less than um, a fulsome apology. I think we may be able to agree that this is also going to be a lot more decided in November of 2014 than up until then. I mean, the country is going to have a vote on and, and a decision on Obamacare, not as it was promised, not as it was misrepresented, not as people gave speech, but as it actually happens. And then we'll have a vote in November as to whether they like it. And, and that's a fair point. And, but I think one of the really important points mm -hmm. is November 2014. That's a long way away. We won't be taking snapshots of the three and a half people who managed right. to sign yeah. up today, but how they're feeling about it late next year. And I also year goes think quick, it, a year goes it, quick. It does go quick, but I also think over the next year it's going to shine a spotlight on Republicans yeah. to see, what, one, what their ideas are, because they don't have any ideas to, to yeah, cover. That's not with fair, but, but I think we should ask the Republicans two, what they whether want. whether they are committed to fixing this versus just political grandstanding, because that's all we've seen well, so far. Well, one of the big problems for your side of this is the president's political capital is now almost all. And he's going to into a, a year next year where it's, he's going to need a lot and he doesn't have any. I think that's a big problem. He doesn't have political capital and he also has a bunch of Democrats in the House and Senate who have different interests than his interests. Yeah, they're going to... Because their interest is... There's going to be a canyon between them. Exactly. Uh, the well, I think we need to see how this plays out before we start predicting what Senate, Senate Democrats I've got my do. predictions. I've got my <laughs> predictions. We're seeing our You're an expert on the Democrats. Senate Democrats. I, I am. After having spent some time with you over the last uh, two years, absolutely. Senate Democrats are already moving. Okay. Not towards the president. Thanks to Ruth Marcus and Grover Norquist. Go to Facebook or Twitter to weigh in on our fireback question. Did the president's apology matter to you? Right now, 23% of you say yes, 77%.